hey there, how are you doing? Today I will show you how to play Velvet Ring by Big Teeth. Even if you don't know the song, it might still ring a bell. <laughs> ring. Uh, because it's quite popular on social media and stuff like that. And it's a great song. So the song is an open D. To tune your guitar to open D, you have to tune it to D, A, D, F sharp, A, B. And then you have to put a capo on. So first tune it to open D and then put a capo on. I will play the entire song for you first and then I will explain everything in a lot more detail which might be necessary for the song as it's quite difficult. But we'll get there together. Let me know in the comments or on my Instagram which song you would like to hear next. So quite a difficult song, but I will show you how everything is done. Let's start off with the first progression, which is this. It looks difficult and this not too difficult because there's a lot of repetition going on. Let's look at the finger pattern. You don't have to put any fingers here. It's all, you only have to focus on your right hand for now. So you use your thumb on the E and the D string. Those are the first two notes. And then your index finger for the G string. Then you use your thumb again for the D string. Then your middle finger for the B string. Then again your thumb for the D string. And then your index finger for the G string. So that might be a bit quick, but there are just two important things to know. You your thumb you use for the E and the D string for this section, your index finger for the G string and your middle finger for the B string. So then it looks something like this. Just like that. That's the only thing, and, and start off slowly. That's really the most important thing, because it is difficult, mostly because of the speed. But do this slowly first. And speed it up with a metronome or by yourself. And then for your left hand, it's not too difficult. You repeat the same pattern 
almost when you go to this fourth string of the of the E string, fourth fret of the E string, relative to the capo. So it's really the same strumming pattern, but only half of it. So again, temp for the E and the D string with a index finger for the G string, and then you do the same for the fifth fret. And for your left hand, you can either move your index finger or use your index finger for this part and your middle finger for the next one. So I'll play it very slowly for you. Just like that. And in these parts, in the uh, the uh, the verse part, so to say, you also have this section. And she does varieties on this, she also does. Or. But as you can hear the finger positioning, no, not the finger positioning, but your right hand is doing the same thing, I'll show you. So. Ring finger on the 4th fret of the A string relative to the capo and then again you use your thumb for the A string for the lowest note and then you can do two things I'll show you how she does it in a uh, thumb for this uh, for the thumb for the A string and then again a thumb for the D string and then your index finger and then you go back and then you move your uh, left hand to the third fret of the A string with your middle finger then you go down one step again with your index finger and then again so again important to know that the, the usual thumb for the A and D string you can also do it with your index finger thumb and middle finger then it looks like this it could be easier so index thumb for the A string D string index finger G string middle finger so I'll show you how it sounds like when you combine it the the, the entire verse so to say and she she slows down in this part as well and then and then it goes fast again again play it slow right so then we go to a new part a tricky part where they sing love is a and do 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 hey <clears throat> that part I'll play it first and then you then I'll explain everything So you play the first note, sort of a chord or an interval, with your thumb and your index finger. And then when you play this D note again, you use your thumb. And for this B string, you use your middle finger. So and then again back to the D. And just practice it with only this now. Don't worry about your left hand already. Just worry about your right hand. So try this. Very slowly. And speed it up. And then we can look at the left hand. So same finger, ping pattern, but then you use your middle finger for the third fret on the D G string ring finger fifth fret G string ring finger fifth uh, seventh fret G string and that's the only thing that changes the other snare shouldn't have to do anything with for this part so you 
can also use your ring finger for every part. I, I think I, I, I won't tell anyone. And she sort of speeds up, so. And you can listen to her, the melody of her voice for the, the, the speed. So after this part, we keep the same strumming pattern, but then we place our index finger on the fifth fret of the E string. And our ring finger remains on the seventh fret. Middle finger on the E string. Index finger on the fourth fret of the E string. And back to this position. And this is repeated. So this, especially this part, might be quite difficult. You can also use your pink. So then we go. And then. So you, you keep your pink steady on the 7th fret of the G string and then you use your index finger and middle finger for the notes on the E string. I will do, that, I will do the entire part very slowly so you can hear what's going on. So in this case I used my ring finger for the 7th fret of the E string. I will do it slowly once more. Like that. Then there's the outro. And again, play it slow first. That's the lamest advice, but also the best advice I can give. Then uh, the outro sort of, f the, the last chorus flows over into the outro. It goes like this. This ticket in a velvet For this, middle finger on the seventh, uh, on the uh, tenth fret of the E string, and then you alternate with your thumb on the D string and your middle finger on the B string six times, and then you do the exact same thing two frets further, like that, and then you go. As we heard in the beginning of the song. Alright, and the ending is sort of a bit weird because some guitars throw over into each other, but you can just focus on this and then go over here and add some random notes. You can try to add this bottom E with your ring finger. Okay, so that's the song. Quite tricky, but not if you play it slow first. Have I said that already? I'm very sorry about that. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know in the comments which song you would like to hear next. And I love you.